Hello, welcome to EHAF Indonesia 2020 Girls Online. This is university webinar series. My name is Puji and I'm going to be moderating this webinar. This webinar is going to be presented by Haga Helia University of Applied Science. We have the representative already uh, online right now with us. Hello, welcome. Hello. Hello. Nice to Hello. be meeting with you all. Hello. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here with us. Would you like to introduce yourself to the audience? Yes, sure. I'd be happy to. So my name is Harry Halva. If you can roll the R, you can say Harry, but if that's all right, you can say also Harry. Um, and I come from Finland, uh, one of the Nordic countries. Right. Thank you very much. Harry. Is that <laughs> all right for a first try? Thank you. Yeah. That was cool. That was really good. <laughs> right. So for everyone in the audience, please stay tuned until the end of the webinar because we will hold a Q&A session. If you have any questions about the presentation or anything related to Finland's higher education, you can submit your questions in the YouTube live, sec uh, live chat section anytime throughout the presentation. And now please welcome Mr. Hari from Haga Helia. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm honored to take the stage. And if I'll just start sharing my screen, uh, you should be able to see a presentation. Uh, yes, it works. Yeah, it works. So let me just switch into presentation mode and you should be able to see our index page. Haga Helia opens doors to future careers. This is what we do. Uh, we are a university of a plot of applied sciences, meaning that we're not a traditional academic university. Instead, we focus on bachelor degrees and we focus on getting people employed. If that's one thing that I want you to remember from this is that we're a Finnish university that gets people employed uh, with a very high rate. Uh, and it's actually our mission to open doors to future careers. Now, I already mentioned that I'm from Finland and we are a Finnish university. Uh, and just briefly, why Finland? Uh, some of you may already have some contact uh, to Finland, but those who do not, uh, we are, uh, according to study, happiest country in the world. Uh, just look at this face. Am I not happy? Uh, most peaceful and sustainable country in the world as well, according to the Fragile States Index. Uh, what's more is that we have the best higher education and training system in the world. Uh, and we are among the, the cleanest air, uh, the countries with the cleanest air. Um, uh, so basically good reasons. You have your, from the, from the photos, you're able to see that we have ample space. Yes, we do have four seasons as well. So meaning that we will get to experience winter. Uh, and, and the top picture over there is, is, is from the capital of Finland called Helsinki, which is coincidentally also the city where we are, our institution is uh, situated in. Uh, further imagery of Finland, uh, once again, uh, our, our, our city centrum, uh, some tramline traffic uh, in the city. Uh, more on the bottom row, you're able to see why Finland is called the land of thousand lakes. Uh, so we have a lot of water. We have the fresh water supply is next to, well, unlimited. Um, and, uh, and also some architectural wonders that are, the, 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 the one in the middle is from Helsinki. It's just a massive big sauna and a restaurant. And yeah, you know, in, in, the, in the north, you're, always, uh, you're, you're also able to see northern lights uh, and, and they have even created these glass igloos, which are vastly popular among tourists. So I invite you to, to, to travel to Finland if, if, uh, if not for anything else, for touristic purposes, obviously education is not, uh, is, is in the, education is in the main focus here though. Um, Haga Helia is not a comprehensive university. Uh, we are, we have a particular focus um, and we, what we focus on is we, uh, we focus on things that we are really good at. So meaning that our fields of study include international business, information tech, uh, hotel, restaurant, and tourism management, as well as sports coaching. Uh, aviation business can be included into international business or as a part of it, it's a BBA or a Bachelor of Business Administration degree, uh, but it's a novelty thing. Uh, so basically you are able with the, with the current um, uh, the, the late, the, the most recent uh, trends in, in aviation are being followed over there. We do not train pilots, but we actually train people 
give, educate people with a, with a bachelor's degree on how to um, enhance business activities in an, in an aviation setting, which is vastly regulated by, by instances, just as IATA, for instance. Uh, hospitality management uh, as well uh, as, a, as a separate product. Uh, you can make a crude division between tourism and hospitality, uh, and we do them both. Uh, we do offer masters as well uh, in, in the field. We, we have a couple of MBAs and also a master of hospitality management. Let's get further down into those in a bit. Haga Helia in terms of numbers. Uh, we are 11,000 students strong, uh, degree students meaning. Uh, we have altogether five campuses uh, and 650 faculty and specialists out of which I am one. Uh, we are, we have a very, very international profile uh, covering 1100 international degree students. Uh, the biggest foreign nationality that we have are Russians. There's about 170 to 200 of them on a yearly basis. Uh, next to that are Vietnamese. Um, there is roughly 150 Vietnamese. Uh, and then uh, after that, it gets scattered. We have about 95 different nationalities on our campuses. Uh, and we actually hold the Guinness World Record for having the most amount of nationalities in one sauna. And you can look that up if you're into Guinness World Records. Uh, Indonesian students, do we have them? Yes, we do. Uh, about 10 uh, currently, according to our register. Uh, so there's a, there's a population of an Indonesian students uh, in our institution currently. On top of the degree students, we have 350 incoming exchange students on a yearly basis. They mostly arrive to on our campuses from Europe, but they come from bilateral uh, partners as well, from Asia, from uh, Latin, Latin America, or from North America. Uh, and uh, well, we have 200 partner universities around the world, and we are also able to provide international double, double degrees, meaning that you study with us for two and a half years and you study one year in a chosen institution and then you earn not one, but actually two degrees in the same time. Now, uh, having a look at the imagery uh, you are able to see on the, on the top left corner, you're able to see our Pasila campus, the main campus. Uh, on the top right corner, you're able to see the hospitality campus, which coincidentally, is connected to a hotel. So basically, as I um, as I said already in the very first line of, of my pitch, <clears throat> we connect uh, you with working life and we open doors to future careers. So this, it's a very concrete way. You actually study uh, in a place where there's a hotel. So what, what a better place to actually uh, study hotel management and hospitality because you, you, you truly have the, the ability to uh, to learn uh, the practical skills as well. Uh, Borbo campus on the bottom left corner, uh, our most modern campus, uh, roughly 30 minute drive away uh, from Helsinki. And our Vieromaki campus, uh, which is further one hour and a half drive away from, from our main campus. Um, so, and as you can see, Vieromaki is our sports campus. Uh, and pretty much any imaginable sport that is is available over there, uh, ample room, uh, you and your own peace and quiet. It's uh, definitely not in the city, as you can see from the from the from the uh, air view picture. Uh, then what else? Uh, just to help you understand our campus a bit, we have a sales lab. So basically, it's a laboratory where we're able to. Uh, dig into the metrics of, of, uh, of sales. So basically you're able to uh, have negotiations and, uh, 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 and really look into the, uh, into the analytics. We're able to measure, uh, let's say, the, the psychic responses of a person whenever you pitch something and uh, you are able to drill into the, into the actual mathematical data, uh, helping you to succeed, obviously, ultimately, and learn. Uh, if there was another picture that I would take from this 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 uh, montage is uh, is a startup school that we have on our main campus. So Finland is probably the best country in the world to start your own business. There's a lot of support for that. Our institute, uh, our higher education institution at Haga Helia, we're able to even provide you with uh, with dedicated staff in growing your own business while you study. 
Uh, so basically you can come with us and you can just, you know, basically iterate uh, uh, and incubate your own uh, business idea. And then you will be getting, you will be advancing your studies and then building up your own business at the same time. Um, then prices, something that we truly have to be mindful of. Uh, 8,500 per year uh, in euros for any bachelor of business administration degree, covering aviation business, international business, business information tech, uh, and a rather language heavy business service solutions and languages. Uh, so basically the, you might be wondering what's the difference between all of these business degrees. Well, aviation business was discussed already. Uh, rather aviation focused, there's a lot of regulation there. International business, uh, you would be able to focus on accounting, human resources, financing, logistics, um, for instance, uh, as, a, as a major. Uh, business information tech is the IT degree that we have. It's just that it's not an engineering degree. Uh, it's, uh, it's a BBA degree with heavy, heavy focus on, on, on information technology. So you'd, you'd be doing software development, uh, software engineering, for instance, IT security, IT architecture. Uh, Choosing that line of study, it's a great way to actually get employed. Uh, good luck trying to, 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 to finish your studies before getting employed because uh, the, Finland is a very IT-driven country uh, and, and talented workforce in that, in that regard is, is, is in high demand, not only in Finland, but in Europe and also globally, as you, as you have understood. Uh, then we have the Bachelor of Hospitality Management, uh, two degrees available there. Hospitality, the hotel management maybe, and, and then uh, tourism and event management in Porvo, the other campus that we have. Uh, also vastly, uh, vastly popular amongst our, amongst our students and, and prospective students. Uh, and the job prospect is, is, is there as well. Bachelor of Sports Studies, which is on the Viramaki campus, uh, heavily concentrates on sports coaching and management not so much on management it's sport it's heavy on sports coaching uh and i could say that it's a novelty product that you have and if you truly have the right mindset for that i'd say go for it uh, uh but it's it's definitely something that is not so much out there uh and and you obviously with heavy focus on on sports um master studies uh there's two MBAs, business, one in business technologies and one leading business transformation. Maybe the business technologies one is more heavy on IT again and in technology as the title suggests. Uh, leading business transformation is, is more of a continuation of an MBA for the international business bachelor that we have. Uh, the aviation and tourism business uh, is a master of hospitality management. These degrees are available on us on a master degree level yet i have to say that we are very heavy on bachelor degrees uh 95 percent of our degrees are passed on the bachelor level and i will be mostly concentrating on bachelor degrees in my presentation uh right so we have a working life oriented education uh instant application of theory into practice with through these partners that you're probably able to some of them recognize bosch canon fujitsu for instance they are the kind of problem. They are the kind of companies that are looking for talented workforce, uh, junior for junior or internship positions, and they come to us and they give us a commission. Let's say they need to design. IKEA came to us and they wanted to design their whole kitchen area again by our students, which was done. Uh, and as a result of that remodeling of the IKEA kitchen sales area, their sales actually boom, boomed and elevated into into new figures. Uh, and that's a practical way of implementing business theories into practice and, and also involving a real life business partner. Uh, and through those opportunities, you're able to really impress an employer uh, and, and, and obviously then make your mark, so to say, in order to, to land a job in Finland. Uh, yeah, support services for stu and, and student experience. We are we really concentrate on once you get in that not only study related matters are, are are in order, but we also want to guide you in your studies. It's not so obvious all the time. That is this your is this something that is right down your alley, so to say. Uh, and and we have academic personnel dedicated to actually help you ponder with those questions. We have peer students. Uh, 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 
fellow students who are then dedicated to helping you and also other students helping other students in term, uh, with, with everyday matters, not so much maybe academic matters, but everyday matters. Uh, finding friends, going into events, uh, finding places to travel, these kind of you know, important but not academic matters. Uh, student associations, great place to make friends uh, with Finns or with other international students. Uh, and we have a specialized team for international career services, uh, which means that, that we have dedicated staff to actually help you get employed. Uh, library, yes, vastly important. Uh, you will not see a lot of old concrete books, uh, the, the, the paper versions. A lot of stuff is done on computer and, and the library services, even though the library is vast, the, 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 the electronic databases of our library are actually probably something that are uh, mostly utilized and it's actually, it opens a door to, 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 a, to a vast pool of research data. Uh, startup school was mentioned already, events and trips and something for everyone. That's what we do. Uh, so I will be just briefly going through the admission. Uh, it's complicated and I don't want to bore you too much. Uh, and after this, we have a Q&A session even in, in Zoom. So basically in case you have questions about this or anything else, just feel free to, to join the, 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 Zoom, the Zoom session after this, uh, for instance, for closer details. But in general, uh, the main application rounds are open for two weeks. So we're now coming into December. Uh, in January, we will open up a two week application period uh, for, for entrance examinations. Uh, and we also have a rolling SAT admission uh, in case you are interested in SAT applicants. Uh, so the, the entrance examinations are, are for all eligible, uh, oh, sorry, all eligible applicants and uh, they will be called for an entrance examination. Exams are organized online, uh, but also on premises in Finland, Russia, Vietnam and China. Unfortunately, Indonesia is not on that list, uh, but we're happy to actually provide you with an online exam. Uh, more on that on the next slides. Uh, in case the online exam is not an opportunity for you, uh, or if you prefer having an SAT test done, uh, we have a pretty clear cut way of, of telling you when you, when you have the sufficient score. Uh, for any Bachelor of Business Administration degree, you need a minimum of 1000 points. Uh, uh, and a minimum it would be from 500 points from evidence-based reading and writing and 500 points in mathematics. So there's two sections in the test uh, and 500 points on each section minimum uh, means that you'll be automatically accepted. Easy as that. It's pretty straightforward and clear cut. Uh, for bachelor of hospitality management degrees, uh, we require 500 points in evidence-based reading and writing and 400 points in math. Uh, for master's degrees, it's a bit more complicated. Applications are for two weeks each September. Studies begin in January. Uh, and there's an advanced assignment. We need your CV. Uh, there's an online entrance examination and an interview. Uh, what I do want you to remember uh, is that no IELTS or TOEFL or any similar English language certificates are not required due to because why? We because SAT will take care of that uh, in pro if you apply to that or the online examination. You will not be able to pass the online examination nor the SAT if you don't have sufficient English language skills. So we're not really bothered about IELTS or TOEFL or any similar product. Uh, the rolling SAT based admission, when's that? For the, the August intake for 21 uh, is, is, is soon open, starting from 21st of January until the end of May. Uh, we have five bachelor programs available, uh, business information tech, international business and business service solutions and languages, hospitality and tourism management and tourism and event management. Now for those who are truly, who have a desire for business information tech, listen to this. You really want to focus on, 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 on taking your SAT for the business information tech why? Because we don't have an online examination available for business information tech. I'm sorry. Pretty much all other programs are available through through BIT, uh, sorry, through online examination. But if you're truly, if you have a burning desire for BIT studies, my personal hint is is in order to get in into our into our um, uh, institution, uh, please 
already start preparing for your SAT. 500 points in math and 500 points in evidence-based reading and writing, and boom, you're in. Uh, that's it. So the instance examination-based admission, uh, the, the application window is short. So basically, you just have to stay alert for, for uh, during that period of two weeks uh, while we have the application window open. We're sorry that it's a small window, uh, but we hope that you're able to actually meet the, uh, just submit your uh, application. It doesn't take too much time. It's just an hour or two to actually submit the application. It takes a bit more time to get, to gather all the documentation. So please start preparing already now and so that you can just upload the documents. It's, it's basically very technical after that once you have the documents done. Uh, as you can see, BIT is not, uh, well, it's it's in the entrance exam, uh, it's in this list, but uh, let's just go further down so that you understand. We have um, uh, the venues for, for, for the entrance examination other than Finland. We have them in Ho Chi Minh City. We have them in St. Petersburg and uh, in Russia, in Suzhou, in China, and also in Helsinki. Indonesia is not listed here, but I don't know, maybe, maybe Vietnam will be the closest one uh, as an option, if you if you feel like going, uh, but but let's just go into the online exam uh, instance examination. Um, it's so you apply in January from the seventh between seventh and twenty first of Jan, uh, and then you then will be called for an, for an online examination, uh, which will be held in the beginning of February. Uh, international business is available. Uh, there's two phases, online written exam, and then there's an online interview later. Uh, same goes for, uh, for hospitality and tourism and experience management and tourism uh, and event management. Business service solutions and languages involved as well. The Bachelor of Sports Coaching and Management uh, has a, a two-day session uh, at the end of March. But you can see that business information tech is not on this list. So for those, uh, just, just a kind reminder, take the SAT if you're interested. Uh, scholarships, always a topic, a hot topic that, that actually raises a lot of discussion. Uh, basically, well, uh, we can get into this later in the Q&A session, uh, but first year, there's no scholarship. For second year, we'll be able to provide you a 20% scholarship if you just progress normally in your studies. We also have a fast graduation uh, incentive, meaning that if you graduate in three years or faster, uh, you will get the third year with a 50% discount and you get to save money because you don't even pay for the semesters that you didn't study. So if you graduate faster, you pay less because you, you have already graduated. You pay for the time. You don't pay for the credits. Uh, right. Tuition fees and approximate living costs. Uh, well, the tuition fees vary from 8,500 to 9,500. Uh, on top of that, meaning that with, with all things considering, you're paying about 25,000 euros for your whole degree in the duration of three and a half years. Uh, on a monthly basis, you'll be using 700 to 800 euros a month in living. Uh, and, uh, and you get hefty student discounts as, uh, discounts as well. So meaning that you, in, in a course of three and a half years, you'll be using roughly 25,000 for education and another 25,000 euros for living expense, uh, meaning that the overall investment is somewhere around 50,000 50, euros uh, in total. Uh, do note uh, that when you apply for a residence permit uh, for Finland, uh, the, the local uh, immigration official in Finland uh, requires you to have the minimum 6,720 euros. So let's say 7,000 euros on your bank account as a deposit uh, in order to obtain uh, the, the student resident permit. Uh, we have an early bird discount. Uh, it's not a scholarship, it's a discount. So 20% uh, tuition fee reduction uh, of the first semester uh, for those who accept the study offer within 14 days and pay it within 30 days. Uh, and this applies in the, in the future application rounds. So that's a way for you to save uh, 13 to 1400 euros roughly uh, if you just react fast. Uh, so if you're in, if you're looking into the 50 K 50,000 euro investment, uh, have a look at the salary rates in Finland, uh, and have a look at our employment rate. More than 85% of our students are working within six months of graduation. We don't promise a job for everyone. Uh, but these are just crude statistics that we're able to provide you with. Uh, 
you are able to see some of the, the top 10 companies where our students work, City of Helsinki, CGI, uh, which is, a, you might know it, it's, a, it's an IT a consultancy company, uh, a, a, lo a local uh, alimentary store, uh, or actually two of them, banks, uh, two, actually there's three banks and an IT operator, Finnair is the local airline. Uh, and median on a monthly income is 3,500 euros a month uh, for, for all graduate. Haga, for Haga Helia graduates, about 3,900 3, euros a month. So with depending on how much you use on your personal expense, you'll be able to pay back the 50,000 euros in a matter of maybe three years. You study for three years, you work for three years, and then you get a, you know, I don't know, you, you, you'll be pretty much already uh, cleared the debt. Uh, so if that sounds like a good deal, go for it. Uh, you have the right to work uh, alongside studies, a common question that is asked part-time, roughly 25 hours, 20 hours a week. As we don't, we don't really look at the hours, how much you work. We look at the amount of credits that you complete while you study. So as long as you complete a minimum 45 ECTS uh, of, of credit points uh, per year, you are able to renew your residence permit. That's the, that's the limit. Uh, the normal study load would be 60 and you get this 20% scholarship if you do 55. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty easy busy thing. Uh, and you have work rights post studies. Currently there's a 12 month stay back, a full year you're able to seek employment. And that's saw, as seen before, uh, within six months our graduates are already working. And then your, your residency will be dependent on your employment and not anymore on your studies, obviously after graduation. Uh, accommodation. Yes, we have uh, uh, accommodation provider called HOAS. Uh, uh, it's it's a Finnish acronym. Don't be bothered about it too much, but you know the, the link is over there, uh, uh, and they are able to provide affordable student housing. You probably have to start by sharing your your uh, sharing your flat. You would have your own room. You would share your flat and your uh, uh, your kitchen, and maybe you would be sharing uh, uh, the bathroom. Uh, but maybe after a year, we'll be able to get a studio if you if you want to. The studios are a bit more expensive, but the rates are somewhere around 300 to 700 euros a month. Uh, sorry, 300 to 500 euros a month, depending if you share or whether you live by your own. Uh, and the good side is that the, the rent with HOAS, the rent covers electricity, uh, internet, water, uh, these kind of... Uh, amenities uh, that from the private market you'll be able to, you would have to pay for uh, on your own. Uh, just briefly on application process, uh, we're closing in uh, on our presentation. Uh, you just start your application process on Enter Finland. Um, uh, and if, if, after you get the acceptance letter, uh, you pay the first installment uh, and then, yeah, you, you tab in to enter Finland and you start your prices. Uh, in Jakarta, there's a, there's, a, there's a local embassy over there. So you just basically get identified there and then it works from there on out. But it's a process of roughly 12 weeks, three months from start to finish. But when you hold the residence permit card in your hand. Uh, thank you. That's pretty much what I have to say. Uh, I'm open to questions. I'll be happy to just leave this slide open please note that well the the the, the q a session that we will launch uh we will open in about 15 minutes uh, i welcome you to chat more over there if there's some questions that are still left unanswered the the meeting id and the link is over there but it's also posted on the youtube uh, youtube chat uh if you feel like following us or if you feel like taking campus tour uh make use of the links uh, and the information provided on this slide but now i'm open for questions should you have any Thank you very much, Mr. Hari. Uh, it's it was um, such an in insightful introduction to Haga Helia and how to study there. So we already have a few questions ready. So for the first question on the Q and A session is about um, registration, and some of the audience might have missed your bit on study programs. Could you, uh, if you don't mind, go back to this uh, to show the slide. Sure. Uh, to show your programs and elaborate a little bit on the programs that Haga Helia are most uh, most known for. All right. Uh, well, maybe this would then be the slide. You're probably able to see this. Uh, 
So we are, uh, for those who maybe came and joined in a bit late, uh, Haga Helia has a clear profile. We are a business school uh, with, with expertise in international business, information tech, uh, hospitality, tourism, and sports. Uh, so we don't do, for instance, we don't do nursing. We don't do engineering. Uh, and because of our very clear focus, uh, we have been able to contact business partners and, uh, and, and, and working life partners with a clear focus saying that, hey, you know, if you want to find talented workforce for, uh, that, that for, for tasks that require a bachelor's degree in business or a bachelor's degree in business information tech or hospitality or, or, uh, or sports, uh, then they, are, they have been able to identify as, as a higher education institution. And we've been able to build this, this very nicely working symbiotic relationship where we actually take in students and then the, 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 the working life partners that we have, which by the way, we have more than 100 of, uh, then they actually step into a classroom and they come in on year one and they start presenting with a, with a real life business case. And we get to just basically uh, involve the students that we have in the very beginning uh, to, to actually start cracking on, on real business cases. Um, and, and, and so, yeah, in, in a nutshell, these are the, these are the fields that we do um, on a more detailed level. Aviation business is probably something more of a novelty thing. Um, uh, vastly regulated uh, uh, field, uh, and there's a, that is controlled by by airline authorities such as IATA. Uh, the the program in itself includes several IATA certifications, so you will be basically getting your money's worth by actually completing IATA certifications on handling dangerous goods, security. Uh, and, and these kind of things while operating these, these kind of practical things that you have to take into consideration when operating a business model on an airport. Uh, so, so that's, that's as a one example. Right. Thank you. So focusing on one thing is actually a very interesting approach because it means you are focusing on your strength. Isn't that correct? Yes, yes. So we're not trying to be everywhere and all around. Uh, so it's not it's not what we do. Uh, we're a business school, uh, and and if if you're into that, then yeah, come to us because we're pretty much we have a great pull factor domestically in Finland. If we have, for instance, if we have hospitality students in Finland, they they are in our institution uh, because we we're strong in that. But then again, if you're not interested in it, if you're interested in engineering, then I can come up with a, with a, with a number of great schools in Finland that will be happy to take you. Uh, but yeah, that's just, that's the way that we see. We get focused on a particular thing and then we excel in it. Right. So uh, on to the next question, since you are, uh, since, you know, Haga Helia is a, f a pretty specific school and you have more bachelor programs than master's programs, I would assume you would expect more bachelor applicants. Uh, yeah. yeah. So let's discuss about that a little bit for uh, Indonesian high school graduate, if they would like to apply to Haga Helia, can they, uh, to, can they do so with uh, their degree certificate? And for those with IB or A-level curriculum, can they apply with their prediction scores? Yes, uh, an A-level curriculum is, is, is completely fine. Uh, so basically the, the, uh, the, the, the guideline is, is that um, you are eligible to apply for higher education in Finland uh, to bachelor level, uh, for, if we're talking about bachelor level, for instance. Uh, if you have a high school certificate that uh, entitles you to apply for higher education placement in your home country. In Indo if you have a if you have an Indonesian high school diploma that enables that enables you to apply for higher education in Indonesia, then it's fine in Finland too. Uh, wh whatever whatever piece of paper you have, if it opens if it makes you eligible in Indonesia for higher education, it makes you eligible for higher education in Finland too. Uh, that's that's pretty much how we see things. Okay, so on the scores, for example, do you uh, also take prediction scores? Because sometimes with the timeline for university application, they usually not always have the, their final score in hand already. Uh, unfortunately, we don't do prediction scores. Uh, basically, how we work is that uh, with the with the with the SAT, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we just take everyone. Uh, no, to, to, 
uh, so just provide those points. Uh, uh, provide 500 points in, in, in evidence-based reading and writing and 500 points in math, and, and we will send you an acceptance letter. That's uh, pretty much how it works. It's straightforward. That's what we require. Uh, and uh, same goes for, for Bachelor of Hospitality Management. 500 points in evidence-based reading and 400 points in math. Uh, same applies. Uh, then we come into the question of, um, uh, of uh, our entrance examination. What I haven't told you, but what you might have now been able to deduct is that we don't score your high school papers. Uh, we don't have a look at your high school grades. So I guess from the positive side, it is that we don't really, we don't look into those grades. We have, we need to see your diploma in order to deem you eligible so that we are able to process your application. Uh, that's the only, that's the only purpose we use it for. Uh, so, because yeah, we don't we don't look at the grades, um, uh, and as long as you are deemed eligible, your path as an applicant continues to the next phase, which is uh, the entrance examination. And the entrance examination in itself will determine whether we are able to admit you or not. Uh, and uh, I wish we could provide you prediction scores, but but no, it's just you have to be. You know, good enough, uh, and and obviously, <laughs> and sometimes it's hard to hard to uh, hard to determine what is good enough. But uh, what I do promise you that if you apply to us, you will be provided with with mock exams uh, in order to just let you see what the examination is about. Uh, for instance, the math. Uh, what we do, we do not allow people to use calculators on on uh, in our entrance examination if there's math equations. And the reason is not because, uh, you know, they're not, the, the, it tells you a bit how difficult the uh, the math equations are. They are rather simple, simple percentages, simple equations uh, on, on, uh, on, a, on a rather, uh, let's say, low level of mathematical knowledge you're able to actually get in uh, or a reasonable level, let's say. Uh, but you're not able to use a, a calculator uh, and, and, and then another thing that stumbles where, where our applicants stumble uh, in, in, um, uh, in the entrance examination is the reading comprehension. So you will be giving a long excerpt of a text and you're expected to summarize uh, the, the main points of that text uh, into, into, let's say, 200 words or, or, or whatever, one page or uh, so basically just, which is very essential in the, in, 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 in uh, in general, just to have a long piece of uh, text and then just be able to summarize it into into something shorter. Right. Thank you. Definitely noting on that, Mike. Uh, hmm. So we only have um, a we only have time for one more question. So I'd like to touch upon your uh, point on how Hagahilia is a business focused school. So uh, for a lot of people, they would study to prepare themselves to, you know, for employment. So can you share to us, uh, you know, about life after graduation uh, in mm -hmm. Finland uh, in general and, uh, you know, like what is the job opportunities like after graduation from Hagahilia and is it common to have on campus recruitment, for example, or how can the students or fresh graduates make use of um, you know, the campus support or link to industries to find employment. Right. Well, the, there's a, there were several questions, but they're all very good and <laughs> essential. So, uh, so the, how I showed in my slides that 85% of our graduates find employment within six months uh, of graduation. You get a one year, so 12 months stay back visa after graduating. So you have a great chance of actually getting employed in Finland and What's best with our degree that it's not just a Finnish degree. It it meets all the European standards for 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 higher education degree. Uh, we have students who who, out of personal choice, decide to go to Germany or, or or decide to go to France or decide to go to Italy or decide to go wherever. They might decide even to return to their home country, uh, or or go to whichever country they want to. But if you want to stay in Finland. We have actually Helsinki as an area, the capital region, it's the economic hub. Uh, and it, that really plays to our advantage. Our campus is five minutes away from the city center uh, and, and pretty much five minutes away from the, from the biggest, uh, biggest uh, businesses that we have 
uh, in the in the in the local stock market, for instance. Um, uh, and that's why we are, I believe we are able to provide you with, with such uh, great statistics. Uh, and the salary would be revolving any, anywhere around 300, 500 to 3,900 euro per month uh, before tax. And uh, your life in Finland, well, have a look at four seasons. Uh, like, four, four, like life in, you have three months of each season, summer, autumn, winter spring uh so it's not the rainy season and then the very hot season uh <laughs> uh but we actually have four of them right now we're, we're turning into winter uh and uh learning finnish language i'd say would be something and and really embracing finnish culture uh in in all its aspects that's that you know as a pointer from 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 a finnish point of view uh you would have to embrace the local culture to 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 relieve uh, anxiety uh, that and stress that we know all international prospects and students have. I myself been living abroad uh, in Italy and in Australia. Uh, I also did spend like like most of Westerners, I've spent a lot of time in Bali, uh, which I don't know if, make, if that's uh, in, from from an Indonesian point of view. So it's getting adapted to the culture is really important uh, for your future uh, uh, success. So it's not only about the studies, it's, it's about you getting to know the culture, but Finns are open-minded uh, and, and uh, you know, with, with you, you'll be able to make good friends. Once you make a friend with a Finn, you will, you will basically have a friend for a lifetime. That's how I go. All right. Away. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Harry. Unfortunately, we already have uh, reached the end of our webinar. So uh, thank you very much for introducing us to Haga Hilia. Uh, once again, and a reminder for the audience, if you have any further questions on studying with Haga Hilia after this webinar, you can consult them directly on Zoom through the link provided on the YouTube live chat. I would also like to remind the audience of this webinar that EHAF 2020 will hold virtual fair on Friday and Saturday, where you can consult directly with a university representative. You can accept the virtual fair through event.ehaf.ie. Thank you for watching and thanks so once again, Mr. Hari, for uh, being here with us and Thank see you. you at the next session with Tampere University. All right. Thank you very much. See ya. Bye-bye.